So, what was the Taco Bell? Uh, the Taco Bell uh, was dead and our scout is dead. He need his gun bolts on his homeworld. That's not surprising. What was the Taco Bell? The Taco Bell was a colonizer, like predicted. And what did he have? People. Okay, we've just committed a genocide of 10 million of the Abaddon population. Boop. That explodes. And what does he have on his that does he have on his homeworld? Oh funny, my ship starts right like, like right next to it. Oh my god! Six hundred seventy six thousand structure. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to bombard this down with the fleet I have. <laughs> if you shouldn't have sent the conquering ship away, it doesn't look like you have any militia based on population. So he has uh, all his armies on here. Okay, we are not going to be able to conquer this anytime soon with uh, the transport capacity we have. And he has explosive of Torpedo 1 gunboats defending his homeworld. Which for some reason have a stealth coating on them. Looks like he's also filled up a decent amount of his space with extra research labs, but he's also built two extra heavy shipyards. That's a decent move, I guess, because building uh, build capacity anywhere else just takes forever, as we have uh, figured out. And this puts him in a position to potentially outproduce me uh, by quite a bit. The thing is, you also need to have the ability to uh, utilize that with resources. But if you're not actually maintaining much of a fleet outside of your system, then uh, you can actually spend all that on on uh, on building warships or building the fences when you notice uh, an enemy fleet approaching. So let's watch this ship die horribly. That died much quicker than the freighter. And what do we have? We have the, this uh, carrier constructed. We have f three new cities built and two upgraded in the home world. And aside from that, oh, gravitic shields. I'm guessing it's because we have uh, physics unlocked. Yep. Uh, let's just get this next level and see if these gravitic shields are much better than the magnetic shields. See if we should get level two of those. Otherwise I'm gonna leave it here and uh, we probably should invest into the bigger reactors. Because it looks like we're going to need some serious hardware to knock down his world. And right now I'm not sure that we can uh, outproduce him. So even though it will prolong the game I think our aim should be containing him in his one or two systems here and uh, aiming on building up the colonies that we have and then just uh, crushing them with our might. Uh, what do we want to research? You have to give me, it's quite late where I am. I feel like I forgot to check something last turn too that I wanted to check. Uh, we, oh right, we wanted to have the extra Extra power, extra antimatter reactors, yes. Mm, it's going to take quite a while, even at almost 600 research points. No, it's still going to take a while. Oh god. That does actually not look good. Should have probably not built this ship if it's really that expensive. Mm. Should we do? We don't have any farms. You know what? Uh, I think the macrobiology, <laughs> just by its name, should be the one tech that gives me farms. <laughs> we should just put some points in there instead, instead of shooting for the uh, better reactors. Maybe it actually gives me farms. Maybe higher level will give me farms. Maybe the tier 2 technology field will give me farms. I don't know, man. No. If nothing else is probably gonna give me better crew quarters and let me utilize my shit more efficiently. Right, we got better crew quarters last turn too from another tech. Will it just give me more crew? 
Uh, these are still level 1 crew quarters. Oh no, we just saw them somewhere, I guess. We still have level 1. <sighs> so, scout ship. It's uh, safe for you to come through. You are going to stay here. You are going to stay here. You're probably going to die horribly whenever the first ship comes through, but uh, that's just a risk we'll have to take. Yeah, we can't actually afford that extra ship. You know what, just, let's just can it for the moment. Then we can still have the benefit of uh, building the extra facilities on our homeworld. The thing is that we're probably spending 2.2k uh, mineral uh, organics on these very buildings too. And um, building four extra, upgrading for extra metropolis is, is going to upgrade my organics income by 50 default because there's a 50 difference plus what 150 percent so like 125 points per metropolis which is 500 organics more well i guess after what four turns that's going to well not even four turns since they don't take the full 2k it's going to be um it's going to be worth it after a few turns. Now well, these guys these guys need to be constructed faster. Faster. I need my money. My starships are starving. Okay, we're leaving here. No, this one's still chewing on us. Damn heavy shipyard for another eternity. With three lights. Actually, at almost 300 million pop now. No, we're still at minus 10. Maybe once we actually break the 300, it'll we don't have a malus anymore. Well, yeah, as far as I can tell, this just increases the supply or distribution and the repair facility repair ability. So upgraded spaceports definitely not a priority. Hmm. Do we want to have a sh ship on this side or this side? If he wants to send something through, uh, he might not care. But he might not send it through if I have something on that side. So I'm going to keep this ship here. No. I'm going to send this ship cloaked into his home system. Fortunately, it doesn't have any sensors, does it? Was this the one that I built with one sensor range? Ah, it is the one I built with one sensor range. Perfect. You are going to go cloaked into his home system, go up until right about there, and you are going to stand guard on the other side of that wormhole. Wormhole, warp point, stargate, warp lane, whatever you want to call it. And you, Mr. Warship, should we try and attack a planet? The less planets he has, the better. I uh, can still try and take it over. No, I think the right answer is uh, attacking it. Because once once he sees me invading this one, then uh, he's uh, probably going to build defenses here. Well, like what, three or four turns ago there wasn't anything on this one yet. So maybe he's finished the uh, facility by now, who knows. And I hope this thing actually has enough uh, Ammunition loaded to hurt a planet. It's 10 ordnance for what 50 damage? 5 damage per unit of ordnance? It's like 3k damage that uh, this thing has packed. That's <laughs> maybe enough to uh, knock down one facility. Depends on how well the, uh, the population tanks and the supplies that are on the planet. And great, all colonizers are not being intercepted. So far, we're going. You, sentrying. Uh, you are one of these types. Maybe we should also send the uh, the one with the skull, with that one that can move cloaked, and the one that has sensor range. This one out further and uh, keep this one behind a war point as a sentry. 
No, I need this one here since this is ahead of this fleet. And I wanna know what's behind this. Now that my initial scout ship has died and I know that I definitely cannot attack that planet. Attack or invade. I might be able to attack it. It didn't seem like he had that much firepower concentrated in these uh, however many gunboats did he have. 20. Might be able to take 20 gunboats. We have 10 warships in there after all. Uh, the thing is that we can't touch this planet, not with the 600,000 hit points the thing has. Then again, it might still be worth uh, to go there, uh, just to uh, just to kill his gunboats and blockade the planet. If I can, I think if I can blockade his home world, I should have pretty much won all idea by now. That would be ideal because then he can still produce stuff, but he's not going to gain any income from it anymore. I don't think. So I, th I think we're going to do is we should make a strategy that ignores the planet and just shoots at the gunboats du -du -du. Uh, yeah. where's planet with colony there's planet with colony okay that is indeed engaged let's have one called avoid planet Roaming patrol? What does this actually do? Pick formation immediately, just fly one randomly? I don't know. Long range everything. Long range everything, apparently still engaged planet. So. Planet with colony is going to be not engaged. Uh, set engage distance, do not engage. Uh, do we need to set something else? Probably not. It's just because I'm not sure what my ships will shoot at. I guess I can tell by this list. Um, I don't want the the ships to enter combat la on the top left side where the planet is in that sector and waste all their shots on the planet itself and not shoot the gunboats that are shooting back. Oh yeah, gunboats are at the very bottom of the list. They probably shouldn't be there. They're at medium range at least. And there's a specific gunboat carrier ship archetype. And that's not a design type. That must be some other uh, some other design type that you would uh, generate for the AI. Of course gunboat carrier ship is definitely not in vanilla. That's definitely not hard coded. It must be configurable somewhere. The uh, constructor was probably also not be uh, engaged, but I don't think we actually have to worry about that. Uh, but who knows, maybe for some reason planets in this mod attack as constructed worlds. Do I think constructed worlds are specifically ring worlds and sphere worlds which are hard coded? Okay, that's it then. Yeah. We still need more organics. I'm hungry. <laughs>